Good afternoon. This is Regina Buckley with uh, KAB Business Services, and I'm coming to you live today. Um, I'm going to be very quick. I have 30 minutes to actually give you some good information on how you can actually get business credit cards for your business that is in your business name that is not attached to your personal credit. So, um, just going to look for the live inside of the group. If you are watching this live, go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know that you're actually here so that I know who that I'm who I'm talking to. Um, also, let me know if you have actually started the process of building business credit. Um, if you have started the process of building business credit, please put a number one in the chat so that I know who I'm talking to and who this, is, this information is going to be good for. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I start the, the presentation, which basically, uh, if you have any questions in reference to what we are talking about today, go ahead and put that information, those questions in the chat as well so that I can answer those questions for you. Um, just give me one second to find the live the inside of the Facebook group which basically so that I can see your questions. All right. So... In order to build your business credit that is not attached to your social security number, you number one have to make sure that your business credit is actually established. That is the key thing here is that you have established business credit because you have to think in the mind of when you are new in business, a lot of the times um, it, it works just as if you, are, you do with your personal credit. Like you had to actually get some credit to actually build that credibility that you will be able to pay back the loan that you actually acquired from these companies. So in business credit, you have to do the exact same thing. However, it is a lot faster to do so with business credit. You can actually build business credit within six to nine months of actually starting. And this is even with a startup business. So let's just say that if you just started a business yesterday, you can actually start building business credit today by adding vendor starter vendor accounts. And then once you add enough starter vendor accounts, then you go on to um, what's called the retail store cards. And with retail store cards, you're looking at companies like Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Sam's, all of these companies. And a lot of people don't know that with business credit, a lot of the companies that, that offers credit to you in the consumer world also offers credit to you in the business world as well. However, they don't advertise it. So therefore, like I didn't know until I got into business credit that Macy's actually have a business credit card. JCPenney has a, a business credit card. So today I'm going to be giving you some quick tips on how you can actually build your business credit quickly in order for you to get high limit cash credit cards. Now, with business credit, you actually get higher business credit lines. So say, for instance, um, you get a card with uh, Chase, for instance, with your personal credit. Your, your, um, the amount of credit limit that you're going to receive is going to be based on your personal income. With business credit, it is not really based on income at all. It's just based on how long you've been building the business credit, how you actually paid your bills. Do you pay on time? Do you pay when the bill is due? Or do you pay late? That is really the biggest factor when we're talking about building business credit. So today I'm going to talk to you about how you can actually get high limit credit cards because it has been proven that with business credit, you get 10 times the amount, the limit that you would under a consumer credit report. And the reason that is, is because a lot businesses need more capital. They need more buying power. So therefore, these companies know that and they give you higher limits than what you will actually get under the consumer uh, credit profile. And so if you are a business owner, for you not to have business credit is, is one of the, I, I would say, one of the biggest mistakes that you can make in business is to not have business credit, to not have that buy, buying power to actually go out and get the things that you need to actually uh, hire employees to be able to get the inventory or the equipment that you actually need to grow your business. And when it only takes six to nine months to get 250K in your business as a credit line, it is a no brainer. You need to start building your business credit and you need to start today. The quicker, the better.
So I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little story about how I got into the business credit space. Number one, a couple years ago, I think it was about three years ago, we had a hurricane and actually the power was knocked out. And because of that, we wasn't able to work. And of course, I wasn't able to work. My clients wasn't able to work and monies was not coming in. So my cash flow, like it, it just ceased immediately. Um, and SBA was coming around and they were saying, hey, if you are a business owner, we're giving you a uh, disaster loan for $10,000 to keep your business afloat. I applied for the business loan and I was denied. Even though my business, my personal credit score was 747, I was denied the business loan because I had no business credit profile. And of course, that is what gave me the uh, the the fire under my butt to actually go and build my business credit because at that time i had never heard about business credit i didn't know it even existed when i started my business i actually got a home equity line of credit in order to do so but now that you have access to learning how to build business credit you don't have to do that you can you have everything under your business name nothing attached to you personally and if for some some reason something happens, the companies that you get credit from can only can only go after the business. They cannot come back and go after you personally. And since in the world today, you of course COVID hit. Nobody knew COVID was coming. At least you know <laughs> we didn't know exactly the effect that it was going to have on businesses and so forth. So therefore, a lot of businesses had to go out of business because they didn't have that cash flow to fall back on. Today, I have over $280,000 in business credit lines. So when COVID came this time, I was not worried at all that I wasn't going to be able to, to stay afloat in my business. So therefore, um, I'm going to just give you a quick rundown of the types of credit cards that you can have access to with your business credit. So I want to first say hi, Ashaya. Thank you so much for watching this live. Hi, Pamela. Thank you for uh, tagging your business, Bestie. Hi, Helen. Helen says, would like to know how I'm in UK. Now, Helen, the only thing is, um, if you are in the UK, your business has to be in the United States in order to take advantage of business credit. Um, if your business is not in the US, then this will not work for you. You will, it would have to be a business that's actually in the United States. Um, Gloria says, does that mean that even if credit cards, if credit is blemished, there's possibility to get business credit? Absolutely. And the reason that is, is because you're building a totally separate business uh, a credit profile. So you have your personal credit profile and you have your business credit profile. Your personal credit profile is going to be under your social security number. Your business credit profile is under your employer ID number. So it's like you're having, you're, ha you're building business credit for two different people. So with, let's just go into the mind of when you have a baby. Let's say when you're pregnant, you're carrying this baby, you and the baby pretty much have the same social security number but when that baby is born that baby gets his own social security number so now the baby is responsible for his own debt when it grow when he or she grows up and that's the same thing with your business it separates you from your business and you have to i have to say you have to be a corporation in order to do this you cannot be a sole proprietor unless you're llc if you're llc you can do business as a sole proprietor however as a um, as a sole proprietorship, you are the business. So you're still attached by your social security number. But when you create a corporation, an LLC or an incorporation or whatever you choose uh, for your business, you actually separate you from your business. So therefore, everything is going to be under the business name. So you can have a 400 credit score and have perfect business credit and still get access to high limit credit cards. All right. Sharon says, hi. Hi, Sharon. Um, Gloria says, I have an LLC. If you have an LLC, you can build business credit as separate from your social security number. What are you waiting on? <laughs> Join my Facebook group, by the way. I have a free Facebook group that actually have so much information in there on how you can build business credit. All you have to do is join the group, go inside of the unit section. There's a lot of videos. There's a lot of resources. There's a lot of uh, preferred vendors that we use in the business credit space that you can have access to. We give you all of the steps on how you can start building your business credit and it will take you up to tier one. There's actually seven tiers in building business credit and my Facebook group is going to get you all the way through tier one. So if you are new to building business credit, you definitely want to join my Facebook group. 
Um, the Facebook group is Dominate Your Business with Business Credit, and the link is above inside of the description. So let's see if I have any other questions before I get into that information. Robin says, thank you, great information. Thank you so much, Robin. Gloria says, only have been in business for five months. It does not matter how long you have been in business. You can be a brand new startup and build business credit. And the reason that is, is because you actually can start with what's called starter vendors. And they do not require you to have a cash flow. They don't require you to have a certain length in business. And they don't require you to be able to prove that you had uh, business credit prior to getting accounts with them. So go ahead and join my Facebook group so that you can get all that information and help you with getting started with your business credit. Um, uh, Gloria says, what's the name of your group? My group is Dominate Your Business with Business Credit. You can actually find the group by going to businesscredit.group or you can just click the link inside of the description of this live. Um, Shay says, can you provide a link to the group? Yes, as soon as I get, actually, I can put it in from my phone. Um, I'm gonna put my bit.ly link. That is the, that's the one that I can get to easily. All right, so I just put the bit.ly link inside of the group. It's going to take you to my messenger. The messenger is just so that I can remind you about the Facebook Lives that we do every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you will get a, a, a reminder to uh, you either join me in the group or actually go back and watch the replay via Messenger. So if you join with that link, it's going to take you to my Messenger, and then it will take you to um, actually sign up to be a part of the group. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and tell you um, some credit cards that you can actually use. So number one, let's see, let me move that over here. All right, so most credit card companies offer business credit cards, including Capital One, Chase, and American Express. These have rates similar to consumer rates, and the limits are also similar. Some report to the consumer reporting agencies, and some report to the business credit bureaus. Approval requirements are similar to those of the consumer credit card accounts as well. So typically, when you apply for a credit card, you put an inquiry on your consumer credit report. When other lenders see these, they won't approve you for more credit because it looks as if you're out there looking for new credit. So they'll actually they'll only approve you if you have less than two inquiries on your report within the last six months. So with unsecured business financing, it's called UBF in the business credit world, this company actually go out and they can actually apply for like five to eight business credit cards for you in less than a week and actually get you up to 30, 40, $50,000 in business credit cards by getting you access to multiple credit lines. So that is what we call the unsecured business financing, which is called UBF in the business credit world. All right, so they can usually get you three to five times the approvals that you can get on your own. This is because they know the sources to apply for, the order to apply, and, can and they can time their application so that the card issuers won't decline you for the other card inquiries that's reporting on your business credit report. Approvals usually range anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000 per credit card. So let's just say if you get approved for all five of these credit cards with a credit limit of $50,000, just imagine what you can do to your with that for your business. And you can use these credit cards anywhere. A lot of them also come with rewards, cash back rewards. It also comes with uh, frequent flyer miles. I mean, having unsecured business credit cards is definitely the way to go because you can actually get cash back on the card. So anything that you need in your business is a way you, this, you can use these cards in order to do so. So the result of having a unsecured business financing is that you usually get up to five cards that mimic the credit limits of your highest limit accounts nine, now times 10. So having multiple cards create competition. And this means that you can get your limits raised typically within six months or less of your initial approval. Approvals can go as high as $150,000 per entity, meaning per corporation. 
So even if you did nothing else in your business, you can definitely get up to 150 or 250,000 just in credit card limit. So this is huge. This is something huge that most lenders don't offer and they don't advertise it. Not only will you get money, but you build your business credit also. So within three to four months, you can then use your newly established business credit to get even more money. Meaning you can actually walk into a bank and say, hey, I want to get a commercial loan under my business name, my business EIN number, and I don't want to be a personal guarantee. You can actually do that if you was to start building your business credit now with starter vendor accounts, the retail store cards, and then the, the unsecured business financing. You can do this within three to four months where you can actually get access to these business cash credit cards. So the lender can also get you low intro rates on these credit cards. Typically, you can get a low intro rate of 0% for 6 to 18 months, just like you do with your personal credit cards if you get lucky enough to get into those intro rate cards. The only thing it is with the intro rates, if you get anything under the intro period, you have to actually pay that off before the 18 months are over or they actually compile all of that interest that you did not occur that accrue during that six to eight month time period you'll then have to pay normal rates after that typically the the interest rates are anywhere between five and 21 percent which is pretty normal with consumer credit cards with 20 to 25 percent uh apr for cash advances and they'll also get you the best cards for points meaning that you get the best rewards. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Now, I actually have a United um, credit card, and I have a Southwest Airlines credit card. For the last two years, I have traveled to um, California. I went to Las Vegas three times. I went to New Jersey. I went to New York. I also went to Washington, D.C., and I paid $100.80 for all of those airlines airline tickets. And how did I do that? With the business credit cards that actually allow you to use your miles. So when you apply with a, um, with Southwest Airlines, you get you get an automatic 90,000 miles that you can use in your business. And with United, you got 50,000 miles. So I, that has allowed me to actually travel for $11.20 per ticket, round trip. So believe it or not, I actually was going to book a trip to Las Vegas just last year, April. I'm sorry, this year, April, before COVID happened. Um, and that ticket was actually going to cost me $696. But because I had those miles, I was able to pay $11.20. So why the $11.20 is because you have to pay the taxes on the airline ticket. But other than that, that was all I actually had to pay for that plane ticket. So having these cars are very beneficial to your business as far as saving money and things like that. All right, so um, just like with anything else, there are huge benefits in working with a source who specializes in this area. The results will be much better than if you try to go at it alone. So let's just say you must have um, for the, the, the UBF, you have to have an excellent business credit profile. So meaning you can't show that you had any late payments, you can't be over the credit limit. And, oh, another thing, I actually maxed out my Bank of America credit card when I first got it because I actually joined this coaching program that took up all of the credit limits. And the next month, they actually increased my credit limit $6,000. Now, just imagine if that was with a consumer credit card, they would have actually decreased my credit limit because it looks like I'm in need for a lot of money or whatever. But with business credit, they actually gave me an e increase. So it didn't happen on any other cards, but I'm just saying with that one particular card, I maxed it out within 45 days of having the card you know, to pay for this coaching program. And then the next month, they increased my credit limit $6,000. So you can also take that into consideration as well because it looks to them that you are a business that need funding. So they give you more money rather than decreasing your credit limit. Also, you want to make you know that with if you was to max out your credit cards in personal credit world, they act, it actually decreases your personal credit score, 
With business credit, you have no utilization, so it does not affect your business credit score at all. All right, so you shouldn't have any derogatory credit reported in order for you to get approved for these cards. You must also have open revolving credit on your consumer reports now, and you will need to have a, no more than two inquiries on your business credit profile within the last six months. So you wanna be careful of that as well. Um, and then all lenders in this space also, that you can use, um, American Express. American Express has an awesome card that's attached to um, your Amazon account. Um, you can use the, the unsecured business finances for all different types of cards. Most of them report to the business credit bureaus, but then some of them do not. So you want to know exactly who they're going to report to and how often they report. You can also get approved using a guarantor. So if for some reason your business credit profile is not good enough in order for you to get access to these business credit cards, you can be a guarantor. It's not something that I recommend and I don't recommend it because things can happen that's beyond our control. Number one, we can get sick, ill, cannot run the business anymore. Number two, COVID can close your business down. These are things that happen that we cannot control. So you don't want to have your social security number attached to any of your business debt because if for some reason you cannot continue to run your business, they can only go after the assets of the business. However, if you are attached to that debt, now they come after you personally. All right, so I'm going to answer a couple questions. Um, Helen says, can I set up an LLC at a business address in the U.S.? even though I live in the UK. In the UK, we have a post office, a post box address for businesses so that you don't have to put your home address. You wouldn't be able to use a PO box. You would have to use um, what's called a virtual address. Now, if you, I know of, of companies or people that's in Canada or in, in other places that actually have businesses in the US. So I'm not gonna tell you, you can't do it. You can. Um, but you would definitely not be able to use a P.O. box. You have to use what's called a virtual address, which actually your mail and things will be mailed to that virtual address. But if you find a company that will forward your mail to you, that will be the way to go. All right. So Gloria said that she joined. Awesome. I will be approving you momentarily or my assistant will approve you if she hasn't already. Um, Marissa says you can't build business credit with a PO box. You can open an account. However, exactly. You can't build with a PO box, but you can with a virtual address. Um, and Helen says that I need to move. <laughs> All right. So moving on. All right, so there are also other cards that you can get using the same type of system, but these cards only report to consumer reporting agencies. And these cards are, are cards like Capital One and Discover Card. They actually, any cards that you get with Capital One or uh, Discover Card, even if they say business credit cards, they actually report to your consumer credit report. So therefore you have your credit utilization, your social security numbers is attached to them. So you definitely, I'm not gonna say you wanna stay away from these type of cards, but you definitely want to know for sure if you are required to be a personal guarantee on these cards. Now, the biggest thing with business credit is that you do not have to give the lenders your social security number. So you can actually leave your social security number off of the applications and they only can use your employer ID number to approve you for to approve you or deny you for the credit. So if you give them the social security number, they're going to run it and they're going to base it on your personal credit profile as well as your business credit profile. But if you don't give them access to your social security number, they can only use your employer ID number. So if you are applying for credit online and some of the companies do not allow you to move forward in the application process without giving your social security number. See, all right. So the key to doing this is to actually stop what you're doing print out the application, fill it out, fax it or e fax it, mail it or email it in without your social security number on the application. So that is how you get around that, but you don't want to give them your personal social security number because they will definitely base it on that. 
All right. So do you guys have any questions based on the types of business credit cards that you can actually access? So I just want to make it clear that 90% of the credit card companies that offer you credit in your personal name, you can actually get in your business name as well. So don't let don't let that hinder you from getting access to all of these different types of credit cards. Like I said earlier, you can actually access up to $150,000 per credit card that you get in your business name. And they don't even ask you how much money your business is making. <laughs> <laughs> which was a surprise to me. Um, I actually was able to purchase my dream vehicle and my business name within four and a half months of actually starting the process of building my business credit. I was able to purchase a BMW X5 in my business name, no personal guarantee, and they didn't ask me how much money my business was making. Now, when you go buy a car in your personal name, the first thing they ask is how much money do you make, right? But in business credit, they do not. Now, I'm not going to say that you won't have to record, you would not have to pay, uh, give this information for other things. I know for sure they're going to ask for that if you're getting a mortgage or, you know, a high, you know, a, a cash loan or something like that. They may ask you for that. But as far as cars, credit cards, starter vendor accounts, none of them ask for your income, which was amazing. All right. So with all previous cars mentioned, you need to have a good business credit profile. So how do you get a, bit, a good business credit profile? Number one, you have to make sure that your business is set up credible. You wanna make sure that your business looks like one of the Fortune 500 companies. And, and when I say Fortune 500 companies, I'm talking about Walmart, Target, any of those. If you just put your business in the mindset of these companies on how their business is set up. So one thing is, okay, so a lot of people are struggle with the fact that they have to get a virtual address because they feel like they should be able to use their home address for their business or another family member's address for their business. But the key to that is, um, if you are calling Walmart corporate office, are you actually calling someone's home phone? Or if you are shipping a product to Walmart, are you, you shipping it to someone's home address? No. So therefore you have to actually set your company up as if it was a big Fortune 500 company, even if you are a one man show. So make sure you have a business phone line. Make sure you have a website and a corporate email address. Make sure you have a fax number. Make sure that you um, that you have a, a phone line that actually, if it, I mean, even if it's not a business phone line, you can actually get what's called a voice over IP service or a virtual phone number that can actually be forwarded to your cell phone number. But your number has to be able to be listed with 411. If your business number is not listed with 411, it's like your business does not exist. So there are companies out there that give you a virtual address, I mean, a virtual phone number and list your number with 411. So these are just some of the pointers that I'm going to give you. But if you would like to get more information just like this, you definitely want to join my Facebook group. I go live inside of my Facebook group every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I do not erase the, uh, the Facebook live so you can go back and watch them over and over and over and over. And I also answer every question and answer that come across on these calls. So I plan mostly for the calls to last an hour. But if there's a lot of people on the call and a lot of questions that need to be answered, we don't end the call until those questions are answered. So I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and join my Facebook group. My time inside of this group on this Facebook Live has ended. I have two minutes left, so I'm gonna answer a couple questions. And if you can just give me some hearts, if this information was good for you, go ahead and give me some art hearts to let me know that uh, this is the information that you're actually looking for. Number one and number two, if you can actually type in the comments business credit so that more people inside of this group can actually see this live. So go ahead and put inside of the chat right now business credit so that this live can be seen by more people inside of this Facebook group. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for actually joining the calls inside of this group. Um, if you would like to reach out to me and ask any specific questions to your business credit building process, go ahead and join my Facebook group and then you can actually ask, ask the questions right, side, right inside of the group and I will definitely come and answer those questions for you. Any 
time, anywhere, any place. I do also have programs that you can be interested in. But in the meantime, join my Facebook group. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to end the live now. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the heart. Thank you guys for putting business credit in the chat. I appreciate all of you. If you are watching this on the replay, go ahead and hashtag replay. Let me know where you're tuning in from so that I know that you actually watched the live. If you enjoyed this live and would like more information like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments so that I know to continue to do this. Um, and you will be, I will be going live inside of this group next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Have a good one. Bye-bye.